Well, hey out there, fellow gardeners and beekeepers, it's Kathy, the Neighborhood Gardener. So I wanted to talk to you today and show you a little video about what I've been researching and been interested in for quite some time, which is apitherapy. And what that encompasses is all the benefits, health benefits from bee products, which could be anything from honey to pollen to propolis to uh, bee venom. And so I've been really researching this and very interested in especially in the bee venom therapy. I had wanted to try it. And again, I am not recommending anyone do this. It's something that I wanted to research and try. It's just a type of alternative medicine, right? So I thought, I'm gonna give this a shot. I, it's just part of the whole beekeeping um, that there's so many things to learn. It's just fascinating to me. And so this is something that really piqued my interest. And I also had to get up enough guts to try it because I have been stung so many times through my gloves and a couple of times without my gloves on, I've gotten stung. So I know that I only get like a localized reaction to bee venom. So I had been contemplating giving this a try to help with my arthritis. I've read a lot, I've watched a lot of videos, and again, this is just something that I wanted to try for myself. Not recommending anyone do this, but I finally got up enough guts to sting myself. So this was like a direct hit from a bee that I purposely placed on my hand because I do have some arthritis in my hands and I thought, why not give this a shot? So I have a spot on my hand right here that's particularly always painful. And I don't know if there was like some nerve damage done at some point to this hand because I have got just like numbness, but pain in this hand. So I always thought if I ever got up enough guts to give this a try, right here is where I wanted to give it a try. I had noticed many times from getting stung through the gloves on my fingers, I had noticed a difference in the stiffness in these fingers. Again, it was not the stinger of the bee going directly into my skin. The barb would get through my glove enough to give me a little bit of pain and swelling, but it wasn't the full barb going through, I guess, to get the full benefits of all of the bee venom. So anyway, what I'm going to show you is I got up enough guts to try this on myself and I'll just let you watch the video. So here you go. Right there, sting right there, girl. Uh, you're going the wrong way. Uh. stinging me oh my gosh the one time I get up the guts and she won't sting me maybe she's getting mad <sighs> I'm gonna try again mm. okay all right I got her here goes. Oh, let's see if I'm gonna do this. Let's get it. Ow! 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 Shoot! Oh! Ow! Ow! I did it. Mama mia! That stings. Huh. You can 
see the stinger right there. Let me see if you can see it pulsating. Mama Mia, that hurt. Woo! There's the stinger. Let's see if you can see it pulsating. My hand is shaking. I can just feel the pulsating going in to my skin. Look at that stinger just pulsating. Ouch! All right, so let's go ahead and get this stinger out. You want to scrape it. I'm trying to do this so you can kind of see. You want to scrape it out, not pull it out. Good old AAA card. So there's the little stinger right there. See it. So I just wanted to show you what my hand is looking like after I did the uh, AP therapy today. That was done about noontime and it's about a little after eight at night and you can kind of see this is the hand that I had stung and compared to my other hand there is some swelling which is just a localized reaction and it's warm and a little red which is normal when you get a bee sting to just have a localized reaction like that but what i should have done i should have put some ice on it and i probably should have taken some uh, ibuprofen or something or benadryl to release uh, the itching and stuff in it but i cannot take uh, benadryl it puts me in a coma so anyway I got busy working today and doing things so I just wanted to show you it is tolerable for me again this is just me and this is the area that I really have the problem with most pain in here and of course my fingers were stiff you know you get arthritis you get stiffness but I can tell you this time uh, what has it been since from noon to 8 o'clock I can tell a huge difference in the stiffness of my fingers I mean this is still very tight but the actual fingers and the stiffness I can definitely tell a difference from this hand to this hand so I'm gonna just see in a couple more days I'll follow up on this and add it to this video and anyway let's see how this AP therapy works for me <laughs> Okay, well, you can see I did it. I survived. It wasn't that bad. And I have to tell you, it's been about a little over a week, maybe six days since I did this. And I did have the swelling in my hand. Like I said, there was that localized reaction. It really did puff up swelling wise for maybe three days. It did not stop me from doing the things I normally do. It was just tight and tender and painful. Won't lie about that. But I noticed immediately uh, the difference in these fingers compared to these fingers. Anyway, for me, this amount of time later, I can tell you, I mean, my hand, you can kind of see right there, my hands, my hand, this is the hand that I stung right there. The swelling, no problems afterwards. And um, I still have the numbness. That is just not going away. That's just something I'm gonna just deal with. But the pain for me is gone. I was amazed. <laughs> and my fingers, this hand compared to this hand, I can sure notice a difference. Uh, one of the other things that I've noticed, and I don't know if there's any correlation with it, I honestly don't know that, but I also have some carpal tunnel, and sometimes, uh, in, uh, most recently, I've had to sleep with a carpal tunnel brace on because I would wake up and my fingers would just be numb on the tips. No numbness. From that I don't know if that has anything to do with it but I can just tell you the hand that I stung I have I have had results with that not saying anybody else who has done it I know that there is still researching AP therapy and there is no recommendations for doing it it is an alternative uh, type of medical treatment that again I just want to make so clear I do not recommend anyone to do this it was just something for myself i wanted to give it a try because you know there are risks involved with that not everybody just has just a localized swelling and pain there is some real dangerous 
reactions to that, you could have an anaphylactic reaction and people can die from that. So again, this was just me trying something that I felt I've been stung enough time as a beekeeper that I did not have those type of serious reactions to it. Anyway, it was just something that I thought I would share with you. I am not quite sure if I'm gonna do it again. It's possible I will, but I can tell you it's fascinating to learn about. So maybe it's something that will just inspire you to learn a little bit more about the honeybees and beekeeping and maybe it will inspire something in you, not necessarily to do any type of a bee venom therapy. Although if you look up all of the research that is being done with bee venom therapy, it is amazing these trials that they are doing. Nothing I believe is FDA approved in any of that. Um, it's all in research, but it's fascinating research. So it's something to just get those old brain cells cooking and just learn something new, right? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching that and it did pain me tremendously to use that little bee. But again, I, I believe she was at the end of her life anyway. I, I guess I just want to believe that because she was a forager and she was out. So bees only live for a total of 45 days. And if you look up how they go through their life cycle, I'm sure she was at the end of her life. And I appreciated her. It did hurt me to take her life. It really did. Even though she's a bug, I look at them as my little girls. Anyway, there you go. I did it, so you all take care out there, and I hope you enjoyed watching that. Have a great day out there. Bye-bye. Let's see if I can pick you up. Hope you're the same bee, because I don't want to get stung again. Let me flip you over. Let me grab a wing. All right, we're going to we're gonna put you in a nice little... I'm gonna find a good spot for you. You've probably visited these flowers. So I'm gonna just put you right there. There you go. Whoop! Well, at least you're in a shady spot. Much appreciated little bee girl. Rest in peace.